Okay, uh, I'm sure this will come as no surprise to you, but there is a new COVID variant becoming dominant in parts of the United States, particularly in the Northeast. This, as Ohio released its weekly update on our spread of the virus here in Ohio. So, of course, we turn to our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins. It seems like we are always like, Monica, <laughs> tell us more. Uh, but, you know, new week, new numbers. What kind of a picture are we getting from, from all this? You know, we had a little bit of a dip, so th that's oh. a good thing. So we had more than 10,000 new cases reported last week. Now, remember, these don't count those who are testing at home. But that number is about 3,700 fewer cases than the week before. So we are seeing a bit of a dip with about 12,377 being the three-week average. We did see a slight dip in hospitalizations as well, but ICU admissions and deaths still remain flat with an average of about 100 deaths a week still from COVID. What do we know about this latest virus other than the fact that it seems to be much more contagious than previous versions? Yeah, they're calling it the Kraken. Unofficially. Oh, no. Yes. Really? It has a nickname. The Kraken variant. Oh. Yeah. Well, I can tell you that the Ohio Department of Health has not updated its variant spread since December 17th. But according to the CDC, BQ 1.1 is the main variant across our region with nearly 45% of all cases. BQ 1 makes up about 26%. Remember BA 5 over the summer? That's now at 5 uh, 5%, it lost its dominance. And because it was surpassed by this new variant on the block, XBB 1.5 at 7%, and its predecessor, XBB, is still around 4%. Now, these are the ones we are watching. I know, it's like, how many <laughs> is there a quiz? Seriously, <laughs> XBB, XYZ, whatever, yeah. XBB, the variant, that's the one we're watching because that's what's dominant in the Northeast, and it is spreading very, very fast. As for the most contagious, well, XBB, Experts think this one, XBB 1.5, is, like I said, officially called the Kraken variant, is the most transmissible because of a couple of things. It has a mutation on the spike, so it has the ability to dodge antibodies and as well as uh, spread very, very quickly. That said, right now, it does not appear to make people sicker, but we really have to wait for real world data to back that up. But most of these, uh, you know, they spread faster, but they're not making people as sick. And keep in mind, doctors still stress the vaccine does protect against severe illness, which is still very important for the elderly and the immunocompromised. But basically they're saying that if you haven't had COVID by now, or even if you have, you're probably going to get this one. Wow. So one of the things I read that I, I hope you can answer this, um, I, but I thought it was very descriptive. It said the, the little spikes, mm -hmm. think of them instead of the little like kind of Velcro hooks. Yeah. S th these, these are described as almost suction cups. Yeah, and they attach so to cells very easily. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's, ex it's a great way of putting great. it. I, yeah, you know I'm going to have to come up with my own little... Like, <laughs> Yeah, I know. Model soon. Right. But, uh, but yeah, these are little Weasley buggers, you know. So the bottom line is wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. There she is. All the common sense. I cannot keep telling you this. Use the common sense and try to avoid it as much as possible. Monica Robbins joining us live in studio. Thank Thanks, you. Mom. Sure.